Hey everybody, I am super excited uh, to be talking to you today about a product that I am getting to test out. I have been working with the company Versa Chalk and they gave me some items to share with you all today. So I wanted to go ahead and show you. They sent me these chalkboard markers. So these are just the white versions of the chalkboard markers. And then they sent me also a whole color pack of the chalk markers as well. And then lastly, they sent me this, a fun little chalkboard that I'm gonna be able to do my demonstration on. And this is honestly perfect for doing a cute little sign in your kitchen or a cute little sign for your home. Um, it could have a menu on it or something like that if you're having guests over. So that's probably something that I'm gonna go ahead and just demonstrate for you today uh, to kind of show you how these work and talk about the product a little bit. I'm super excited that I got them in time for fall, especially with all the fun fall colors that they included for me. And real quick, the other thing that I want to say is that Versa Chalk will be giving away some of these chalk markers to my followers. So make sure you head over to my Instagram account at Eliza Ann Calligraphy to be part of that. Um, that post is going live the same day that this video is going live. And we haven't quite determined how long that's gonna run yet, um, but it will be stated on the Instagram post. So make sure to check that out if you want a chance to win some of these markers for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and show you um, just me opening up the set of the white chalk markers, uh, chalkboard markers that they sent to me. Um, perfect for menu boards, windows, kitchens, arts and crafts, and more. And they can draw on glass, plastic, metal, glazed ceramics, chalkboards, whiteboards, and any non-porous surface. So really these extend a lot farther than just uh, being able to use them for a chalkboard. open from the bottom. All right. So the nice thing about these is that I've already read here on the back um, and they have really good instructions for them, uh, which with some other markers I've used in the past, they don't come with instructions and sometimes it's hard to get the ink started and the ink flowing on these properly, but they tell you very clearly um, that you need to shake it before you open it. You need to then pump the tip to get the ink down to the bottom and then you can draw on it. So. I am super excited to go ahead and get started with these and I am going to create, like I said, a little menu board and just show you kind of um, some tips and tricks for writing with them. So all the markers um, come individually sealed as well within the package, which is actually really nice. I prefer that. So this one still has the plastic uh, layer on the outside of it, but it's really easy to peel and remove and take off when you're ready to start writing. The first one, I guess, states to shake it well with the cap on and pointing upright. And then the second one is we're gonna have to pump the marker to get the ink to release. And this is pretty common to have to do for paint pens of almost any type or um, chalk markers, any variety of paint marker. All right. So let's go ahead and pump the tip of the marker to get the ink flowing. I tend to use a scrap piece of paper for this. All right, and we've got good ink flow. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side. I still continue to use it while I'm writing. And let's go ahead and give this a try. So I really love the results that we have here. It was super easy to write with them. The ink flow was awesome. So this was just the white marker. Um, and then they wash away uh, with water. They are water-based. So if you're doing something permanent, these won't be the best bet. But for doing little chalkboard projects, they're awesome. So let's go ahead and erase this so that I can show you how to draw out a cute menu. Alright, 
so here are the three colors that I think I'm going to use for creating my menu alongside using uh, the white versa chalk marker as well. And I wanted to go ahead and point out another real quick thing about these that's pretty cool is that the tip right now when you first get the markers is a chisel tip. But if you wanted to switch it around, it comes out and can be put back in as a bullet point tip or a rounded tip instead. So it's really nice to have the option um, depending on the look of the lettering you are trying to achieve. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on creating the menu. I went ahead and changed it to the rounded tip instead because that's what I prefer uh, for my lettering. love how opaque that orange is. Honestly, it looks like exactly the same shade of my pumpkin, and I love that. It's not clear or translucent at all when you write, so that is a perfect start to the menu. I think I'm going to go in with the white marker as well and use the chisel tip this time. That way we're just giving the lettering a little bit of a pop. It's kind of a drop shot into the lettering, which is really nice. It actually kind of makes it come to life a little more. All right, and I grabbed a couple of the other fall colors that I really liked, and I think I'm going to use the green one to write on there first. Once more with the rounded tip. Mm. Perfect, that looks great. So we have a dinner option, and I'll go ahead and write the dessert option on the bottom as well. And then I think I'm going to end it with a cute little pumpkin illustration on the bottom, maybe with some fall leaves. And by the way, I actually made a recipe for Hungarian pork stew last night, and it was awesome. So if you can find a good one online, definitely make sure to try to try that out. And I think for dessert... I would want an apple pie, a classic fall food. Perfect. I really, really love how opaque these colors are. I mean, they pop so well for chalk markers. It's really, really nice. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and grab out of here the yellow marker as well so that I can do some fall leaves at the bottom of this along with the pumpkin. Okay, pumpkins are very, very easy to draw, by the way. You kind of just start with a really tall oval in the middle. Actually, more like parentheses or like brackets kind of in the middle. I don't make them fully touch at the top. And then I just work out and make the crescents in the brackets bigger every time going outwards. And then I kind of round it out at the bottom here and dip down at the top for where the stem is going to go. very very cute pumpkin or the beginning of one because then you can go back in and create a stem on the top for it 
And if you want to get super ambitious, you can do vines and all those types of fun things as well. I'm going to give this a little bit of a pop. By adding some detailing just to make it look not quite like 3D, but it definitely brings it to life a little more. And I'm going to use this yellow. Go back in and add some cute fall leaves, which leaves are very, very easy to do. You just do a stem, and this one I just give it a couple points, or one over here where you can round it off at the top instead, or you can create a longer and skinnier leaf. So many different varieties that you can do. So that's just a really quick overview on how to make a really cute menu sign for your house using the Versa Chalk chalkboard markers, which I highly recommend. Uh, they work really, really well and you don't have to do multiple layers over and over to make them look, uh, to make it look opaque. So I would then be able to set it up like so with the cute kickstand on the back. And just for fun, I wanted to test one last thing since it says that these can write on a bunch of surfaces, including any non-porous surface, I wanted to see if it would work on my pumpkin. like it does work but writing on round surfaces <laughs> spherical surfaces is really hard <laughs> so if you have the steady hand and the lettering to be able to do it you could even use these to write on your pumpkin if you wanted to mm -hmm. 